one of the most prominent American studio house bands from the 1960s to the 1980s, who individually or as a group have been associated with more than 500 recordings, decided it was time to go out on their own on this day. Barry Beckett, Roger Hawkins, Jimmy Johnson, and David Hood had worked at Rick Hall's Fame Studios, helping create the Muscle Shoals sound and working on songs by artists like Aretha Franklin, Wilson Pickett, and Percy Sledge, among others. More than a few people were surprised to learn that the musicians backing many notable black artists were white. In 1969, after a financial dispute, the Swampers, as the four were called, broke away from Rick Hall and Fame to purchase a tiny studio with burlap-covered walls at 3614 Jackson Highway. It opened for business on April 1, 1969. The studio's sole bathroom was often used as a sound booth. The musicians would listen out on the porch to make final judgment on finished songs. It doesn't sound like much, but more than 50 hits were created at this studio, including Brown Sugar, Wild Horses, Night Moves, and Old Time Rock and Roll. If you want to hear more about this incredible group of musicians and their story, check out the 2013 documentary Muscle Shoals. It's absolutely fascinating.